This is the new must-have sword in Destiny 2. It's called the Slammer, and it's a vortex frame that has Eager Edge on it. As you can see there, I can fly around with Eager Edge and spin like a vortex frame, like the Falling Guillotine, as I'm sure most of you are pretty familiar with. That was a sword that was infamous for a very long time. And if you do the Corrupted GM this week, it's a guaranteed drop. It's not guaranteed that you're going to get the exact god roll, though. But you're looking for Eager Edge on this left-hand column here, so you can have that fun by flying around. And then you got one for all. And so now I'm on a vortex frame, right? Which is something we've never seen before. A vortex frame where I spin around, but I can also swap off and swap back on and swing like an Eager Edge sword and go really far and really fast. Normally I swing like this, swinging and jumping, but obviously Eager Edge, don't need to explain too much to you, but allows you to go a lot faster. So now I can tie in going fast with killing fast. So go fast, kill fast build that you can make with this stuff so we can fly around you can be patrolling and do whatever you want to do and then when you land jump into a spin so fly around spin we'll go over the quick perk pool here if you can decide what perks you want on it. you got cold steel in this column mine has one for all which is not necessarily the worst perk ever and then we have collective action and then permeability demolitionist and bait and switch so you can pick whichever perk you want primarily i would use it for you know we want eager edge to fly around because it's just fun to have that mobility in pve and then once you land you know the ability to clean up a boss pretty fast bait and switch is going to be an excellent perk maybe you want to use it for something like add clear though so maybe you decide to go with something like chain reaction on there it's nothing necessarily wrong with that but i think for the most part eager edge is what like this is the really exciting perk on this weapon you do have relentless strikes here which can be good for ammo consumption especially when you're damaging bosses attrition orbs be making orbs for you if you're trying to do uh, just strictly boss dps not too bad pugilist is on it like we said chain reaction for ad clear and then you've got thresh so some pretty interesting perks i think there'll be some interesting combinations that people will choose to go with for this but for myself personally i'm looking for that eager edge and then bait and switch roll so that will be pretty cool in my opinion so this is almost the god roll that I'm looking for right here, and I can just wanted to show you first impressions and demonstrate what it will look like. If you want to dare to jump in the Corrupted GM and sweat it out and get that clear, if you do get the clear, it's a guaranteed drop, so keep that in mind. So you'll get the Slammer Adept, and whatever perks you get in here, you'll get two in this column, giving you twice the chance of getting Eager Edge, and then you can decide whatever perk you get in there, or keep grinding until you get that exact god roll. And you can slot in these Adept mods, and one thing that's really interesting is that Bungie did tell us that we're going to be able to enhance these traits on this weapon specifically and all the weapons that just recently came out. We're going to be able to enhance them in the final shape, which makes it much more appealing and ad, uh, convincing to grind for the god roll now because in the final shape, this weapon will be even more powerful with the enhanced eager edge and enhanced whatever trait you have in here, right? If you have bait and switch or whatever it may be. So, so adept mods, enhanced traits coming with the final shape, definitely exciting. And go fast, kill fast, sword, swing and go fast, do big damage to bosses. Very cool stuff. Definitely looking forward to that. I'd recommend jumping into the Corrupted. The builds that I recommend for people to use in Corrupted is have a Cenotaph Warlock with Div. That's going to be massive. And then I had Aeons on myself. So we had two Well Locks. One was a Cenotaph and one was an Aeon. Uh, and then the third person we had on Celestial Nighthawk Hunter. It doesn't really matter. Obviously, you could do three Warlocks. You could do a bunch of Hunters and Titans. It doesn't really matter too much, but the Well Lock is pretty huge. You probably want at least one Well Lock on your team at minimum. And if you have more, if you have two, it'll just be that much more consistent and easy. And so we were stunning all the champs with the Div for the most part, all the Overloads, and then the Unstoppables with Sunshot. And so this was the exact load I was using to beat it super fast and easy. Obviously, I've already made a bunch of Corrupted GM guides, so I'm not going to go through all of that over and over again. But just want to give you the quick peek as to exactly how to do it and beat it fast so that way you can get as many slammer swords as possible as quickly as possible and we'll be doing gm raffles and carries on stream so i'll see you by the twitch stream twitch.tv slash like 10p make sure to subscribe smash the like button see you in the next one later